Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you to all my subscribers, guys. Hope you all are doing well on this Sunday afternoon. Sometimes it feels like Sunday. Sometimes it feels like Saturdays. My days are just all blurred days. They're just days. All right, guys. Let's just see what's crowning this reading. And then I'm just going to dig in see what spirit has for us, right? There's always a message for someone and it'll guide me to whatever decks I need, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, your guardian angels, spirit guides. What is going on here? Show us a picture. Show us what we need to see, spirit guides. Take us there. Take us there. The Fool card in reverse. The Star card in reverse. The Ten of Cups. So, it looks like someone is either scared. Someone could be scared to take this leap of faith into this new beginning. Like, they're not... They're not very hopeful or they're just unsure, but they do see this connection as the Ten of Cups. Like, that's how they feel about it. They're just scared to take this leap. They're scared to take this leap into the unknown, right? Here, who is this person? They're scared to take this leap. Either that or there's some unfinished business. There could be some unfinished business, you know, and they're going back. But they're not very hopeful. They don't know if you're going to take this in the cups back. You know, be some unfinished business here. Let's find out what this is, Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides. Please show us what we need to see. Spirit said, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. Then we have past life. You have known each other before. So Spirit said love yourself first because it's either this person is either afraid to take this leap of faith with you because they just don't have any hope in regards to this Ten of Cups, although that's what they want, or they know that they have some unfinished business with you. They're just not very hopeful. They don't know if you're going to take this Ten of Cups that they're going to try to offer you. But Spirit said love yourself first. This is somebody from your past. This is somebody you dealt with. All right, Spirit said, release your ex. So maybe you have an ex. Reconciliation. All right. So somebody from your past is trying to come back because they want this Ten of Cups with you. But they're scared to take this leap of faith. So Spirit is like, why are they teetering? on this edge of what they will and won't do or scared of what they want to do. Spirit said, just love yourself. Because you and this person, you know each other, right? You know each other. You have this past life connection, is whatever. But also, somebody needs to release an ex. So this person from your past, you two can reconcile together, right? You need to reconcile. Let's get some urban bricks on here to see if we can make some things happen things up right let's see so somebody's afraid of this new beginning although they want this ten of cups with you or you two been together before like a past life and they want to go back for this unfinished business right so i guess back then that's why they want to come back now back then to them it was only sexual All right, and right now, currently, your person is at the justice of the peace. They could be getting a divorce, a separation. It could be child support, evictions, anything like that. What else, spirit? This person feels that you didn't take them seriously anyway. They feel that you didn't take them seriously. But they feel like they was crazy for letting you go. So I told you, this person is, they're, they're wanting to come back, but they're scared to come back. But they want to come back, right? All right, guys, let's put some tarot on this. Your person wants to come back to you. They're just scared. They do see this Ten of Cups with you, though. 
What else, Spirit? Show us what we can't see. Angels and ancestors. Help me deliver. Three of Cups. Yep. See, your person's in court. Reason why they can't give you the love and attention that you want is because they're currently ending something. They're currently ending something. That they're, you're they're at the justice of the peace. This is three of cups in reverse. They're in the middle of ending something. This is the three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody that they used to work with, maybe they work together, like maybe they had a business or something together, or maybe they just work together, quote unquote, like as a family, you know, trying to build. But either way, it's in three of pentacles. So that's coming apart. And then there's seven of wands. Seven of wands in reverse. So I guess after your person go to court and everything, there would there will not be anything stopping your person from coming forward. There won't be any more blockages in its way. Or in her way. Feel free to flip it. Yeah, the tower. See, the tower has already fallen. It's come down. It's on the ground. There was some judgment there in reverse. So your person, they pull back their love. This is the Page of Cups. They don't want any new love with this past person here. Whatever they was dealing with, whoever they're in court with, they're not offering that person any new love. But now here they are, Eight of Wands energy. They're ready to make moves. They're ready to start talking. They're waking up. They're coming out of hangman. Maybe they're going to call and check you. Four of Pentacles. They're still holding back, though. Could be in regards to money because, you know, they just came out of court. It could be their finances. Or they could just be holding themselves back because of what they just been through. Yeah. So this person here is not offering their love right now. They're holding on to their heart. That's their Ace of Cups in reverse. Because this person is still healing. They have healed, but it's a recent healing of a Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah. They're still healing. It's Three of Swords in reverse and then Four of Swords. So your person is still healing. It's like they healed, but I guess they need to put a, a semi-gloss on top of that healing, right? Some people can't get past certain things. Four cups in reverse. They're bored without you. They want you, though. So they're coming. I guess they just want to be completely healed. They're not feeling very strong. It's a magician in reverse. I don't know if that karmic is still up in their head, you know? And your person just can't seem to shake that tree. But see, they see you as emotional fulfillment. They see you as love. They see you as Ten of Pentacles. They can see themselves building with you. They also have the Wheel of Fortune. It's like the odds are in their favor when it comes to you. Spirit, what would the outcome be for this reading here? Your person has to completely pull away their Two of Cups from someone else. This Queen of Swords here, which he's doing. He pulled away his Two of Cups. I guess that either took him down to a nine of pentacles or he just left her single. You know, not as abundant as before. Spirit, what is the outcome for this divine masculine and the divine feminine going forward that he wants to send a cups with? Spirit, what is this? Page of pentacles. He's coming in very childlike. Persistent nonetheless. And he's made his decision. He finally made a decision. Here he is coming in as the Knight of Cups. He finally made a decision to propose an offer to you. He walked away from you before. They always do. He's coming back. Just like up there, you two had unfinished business. He's coming back, guys. There was some justice. He know he dealt. He gave you some injustice because of what he was dealing with. You know, it gave you injustice because of this high priestess. He had to handle you differently because of what he was in. But he wants his partnership with you now, this two of wands. And he has a lot of regrets how he treated you. He feels horrible. I feel horrible. You have any confessions, masculine? Why have you here? 
He feels horrible, guys, on how he treated you. But he wants you back. You two have some unfinished business. You feel horrible about how I treated you. He goes, when you left, I died a little inside. Yeah, see, you walked away from that. You wasn't going to let that mask come in. Keep you on a string. You said, no, sir. Read Bob. I never loved any way. I never loved anyone the way that I love you. See? See what happens when they choose wrong? They were like, damn, that was my boo. I kept cheating because you kept forgiving me. So I guess every time this person stepped out on you, you just kept forgiving them, kept forgiving them. You know, and they think you don't leave, and eventually you do. All right, masculine. All right, spirit, what's going to be the outcome here? Or close to Queen of Cups. The karmic's not having it. It's Queen of Cups in reverse. She goes, there, we're not going to be an outcome. Masculine stepped in. He said, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. He goes, I want to go plant my seed somewhere else. He said, you had your turn. You had your turn with me. You treated me like shit. I treated her like shit. He goes, everybody was juggled. He goes, and I don't want to be your lover anymore. He goes, I don't want to be juggled anymore. He goes, I don't want to fight anymore about this connection. I don't want to fight about who makes me happy. Mm, what else? He goes, it's over. He goes, the world that we had together is over. I want a new world. King of Wands, he said the world that we had, it was just, it was just lust. It was very sexual. He goes, I want to be loved now and I want to give love. King of Cups. All right, masculine. Look at you. He wants to be loved now. He goes, I want a real union. He goes, I want a real connection. He goes, so I'm dropping all these burdens. Ten of Wands in reverse. He goes, I'm dropping all these burdens. He goes, and I'm walking away. This is an empress in reverse. He goes, I don't have to be with you. He said, because we have children together. Yep. He goes, I do not have to be with you just because we have children together. If that is the case here. Page of Wands. He goes, I'm starting over. I'm reaching out to people. He goes, we're done here. This is a death card. He goes, we're done. He goes, I'm completely done. And I'm moving on. It's the Knight of Pentacles. He said, it probably took me a while to get to this point. He goes, but I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I have the Ace of Wands. And I'm passionate about moving on. He goes, I'm loving myself. I'm doing what I need to do. Knight of Wands, energy in reverse. She's trying to offer up the toot toot. And he's like, I don't want it. And he says, you can't keep me here. She's trying to offer it up. One last ditch effort. He goes, I don't want it. He goes, I don't want it. He goes, I want victory. He goes, I want victory. I do not want what's in between those legs, girl. He goes, that gets old. Yeah, he goes, I want this Queen of Wands here. I want this Queen of Wands. He goes, you can't stop me. There's the devil again, guys. He said, you can't stop me. And look, the devil's crying. The devil's all up in his head now. The karma's all up in her head. The masculine says, stay there. Stay there until you get right. The masculine said, I know what I want. He goes, and I'm going to get it. He's in this Knight of Swords energy. He goes, I'll fight anybody that gets in my way. I'll fight anybody that's going to stop me for finding balance and happiness and love in my life. Equal give and take. He goes, and I am the King of Swords. He said, not only will I fight your ass. He goes, I'm sitting at the throne. He said, he goes, I'll have you tossed out the kingdom. He goes, I'll have you tossed out, kicked out, kicked out. He said, first, I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> then I'm going to toss you out of my kingdom. Okay? That's what he said. <laughs> you heard what he said. Master said, first, I'm going to beat that ass. Then I'm going to toss you out of my kingdom. You better stop it if you want to stay inside. He goes, I walked away from this already. And he walked away from it. He went within. He did a lot of work on himself. He worked on himself. 
And now he's waiting on his partnership to come in with his divine feminine. He said, y'all not taking this from me. He said, can't nobody take this from me. Masculine said, I'm not going to let you. Masculine said, can't nobody take this from me. He said, I've been waiting on this. Guys, look at me. I'm trying to flip them. Here we go. He said, can't nobody take this from me. He said, I'm waiting on my ships to come in. There's a king of pentacles in reverse. There's another karmic. Somebody's trying to stop it. Masculine said no. Masculine mounted on that chariot. He said, you can't, you can't stop me. I'm all the way up. He said, the person that I walked away from where I knew I had unfinished business, I'm going back to him. Six of Swords right here, guys. I can't make it up. These cards are amazing. He's going back. He's going back to that old thing. He said, because it's just shade over here. He said, the shade every day. He said, I bet all I do is think and contemplate over here. He goes, I'm, he goes, I'm out. He goes, I'm going back to that past. He's going back to that old thing. Mass is going back to that old thing. He's been praying about it. He has. Ace of Swords energy. The moon. Ace of Swords again. Seven of Swords. All right, guys. So your masculine is a little hesitant. But he feels y'all have unfinished business. And uh, you're holding ten of his cups. And he wants them. All right, guys. This is your reading. It's something going on here. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.